Coming up, Sonny Cowshell. Oh, but first of all, your thoughts. 0800 33 22 83. 0800 debate uh, on whether or not you support the dairy owners shutting today, whether or not you think, I mean, that, listen, they're not making money, so the only people that are inconveniencing are themselves. Um, your thoughts on that one? Okay. And whether or not he is, uh, and Sonny Cow should be joining us to talk about that. Um, and whether or not you think that, as Wendy said today, there's a general sense of lawlessness in our community, which has been brought into sharp relief by this. Um, but Sonny is chair of the Dairy Owners Association. I think it's called something else. So I'll be able to talk to him in a second. He'll be able to tell me. Uh, but he joins us now. Sonny, welcome to the show. Good morning to you. It's a dairy and business owners group. Is that the group that you yes. are the chairman of? Kia ora, that's correct, yeah. Sonny? Yes, that's very correct. So dairy and I've business owners group. I've got him on and group. I can't hear him. Hello? Uh, Sonny, I, sorry, I can't hear you. So I am going to put you back to Shane and then he's going to try and sort that out. So I've got Sonny there, but he isn't coming through my my phones and I can't hear him. I can hear you, Shane, so I shouldn't be able to hear you. All right? So there's some sort of knob that's been twisted. We'll try Sonny again. Sonny, you can, Sonny, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. No, he can't. Can you hear me now? Hello? He can't hear Shane. Okay, but I can't hear him. Hello? How hard is that to work out? Hello? See? So just keep Hello? See what I can do to fix it. Okay. Sonny, um, you just stay there, Sonny. Shane's going to try sure. and twiddle a knob, but... There's no knob that I've Certainly. touched that's... But I can I tell you what the problem is? Can I just very quickly? I can hear you when you're talking to Sonny. I don't usually hear you at all. Okay, so we, oh, I think right, at your okay. end, not at mine. Sonny? Yes, I, I hello? I hear Sonny. I think you'll find it's at your end. Okay. All right. Sonny, you stay there and Shane will work you out. Sure. Sorry. Oh, Sonny, I can hear you now. Are you there? Oh, you can? All right. Good. You've just come on. That's excellent. Something's been... Sure. Um, my apologies. You are chairperson of the Dairy and Business Owners Group. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. Yeah. Um, we... On, and you have been prominent on this particular issue since Mr. Patel was murdered. Um, and said that it's systemic of a much bigger issue. We'll come to that in just a second. There's sure. a protest today from 12 to 2. Have I got that right? Uh, yes, so there's a, a, a vigil. Uh, it's a nationwide solidarity vigil, obviously from 12.30 to 2.30, uh, and that's happening simultaneously uh, across the country. Uh, some are gathering uh, in front of uh, Prime Minister's electorate office, uh, another in Wellington, uh, the gathering in front of uh, Deputy Prime Minister Grant Robertson's elected office, and then the businesses uh, across the country um, would shut down, uh, shut their uh, doors today, and they'll be standing in front of their businesses. Right. So, who will be doing that? Is that everybody with a dairy and a small business, or just a select uh, few? Uh, no, it's it's a dairies uh, and there are quite uh, retailers, you know, liquor stores. So, um, you know, they are basically standing up in solidarity. So there's a lot of good support uh, which is uh, coming in. Uh, and there's, that also tells us, you know, uh, about, um, you know, how people are feeling about this issue and they're coming together. Right. Um, now, the reason that they are undertaking this vigil in specific is why? Is because enough is enough. This is to send a strong message out there to the government. Uh, and also, uh, they are standing uh, as a mark of respect um, for the dairy uh, worker who was uh, killed in his prime life. Right, Mr. Patel. Now, um, that's going to be dealt with by the justice system. Three people have been arrested, uh, one charged with his murder, two with robbery, two others with robbery. Uh, this is a dreadfully unfortunate uh, incident. Is it, though, endemic 
or is it just individual? In other words, there have been people killed in their shops before by bad people like this person. We haven't seen that as part of a national issue. Rather, these have been isolated incidences. What makes you think this is not an isolated incident? Look, uh, this is uh, not inevitable. Uh, you know, th this this was inevitable. You know, it, it could have been avoided. We have been warning and telling the government from last five years. Time and again, we have written. We have, we have asked the um, appointments with the ministers. And the last appointment that I had with the police minister, he was told very clearly. We gave him a manifesto with eight points what needed to be done urgently. But unfortunately, uh, we are feeling that we have not, not been listened to, we have been ignored, and the kind of ram raids, assaults, robberies uh, are going around um, the country in broad daylight in, and also in public areas. It's telling you a story that uh, we are, we are, it's, it's now becoming a lawlessness. You know, there's a sense of lawlessness is gripping entire country. Um. I guess the other, well, what were the eight things that you asked Chris Hipkins for, the Minister for Police? Yeah, see, the first thing uh, we ask uh, them is, uh, in that one, is, you know, it starts from admitting that we have a crime emergency. You know, unless and until you, you admit there is a problem, you will not look at the solution. The, the, the biggest trouble is the government is not accepting there's a problem. That starts from one. And then uh, we require the tools and resources um, to deal with this epidemic. You know, uh, the, the police uh, are, are feeling helpless, powerless. We need more police on roads, more police on patrolling. It, it's quite simple. It's not a rocket science to understand if there's a, there is a deterrent, you know, more police on um, uh, uh, visible, more visible police, uh, more enforcement and more deterrent. You know, when you and I, uh, or people like us who drive, you know, who are law-abiding citizens. And when we see a cop car, what do we do? You know, we, 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 we check our speed. We, we try to put our foot on the brake because there's a deterrent. Mm -hmm. But right now, the offenders have no fear of police, no fear of law, no fear of being caught, or any consequences whatsoever. Well, I guess that follows then that more police wouldn't necessarily make a difference. Is that right? Uh, uh, you see... Uh, uh, it, it, the deterrent is very, very important. You know, the visibility is very, very important. And we need to put a, a fence up uh, on the cliff, not waiting with the ambulance. Mm, okay. Um, there is quite a bit of support I'm getting here from people texting me in now for this today. Um, if people want to join, what, they just go down to their local dairy and stand for, what, 10, 15 minutes themselves in support of your vigil? That would be very, very great, uh, and, and that would help a lot and would mean a lot to, to our business owners and their workers uh, to get the support. support. Uh, even the, the uh, you know, Mr. Patel, who was killed, and we are getting a lot more support across New Zealand for his family. Lots, the thousands of messages coming up, and the Give a Little page that we set up uh, is getting a very good uh, uh, support across the country and also the uh, petition that we launched uh, two days ago it has already gone 13,500 signatures uh, uh, this morning so uh, so what's the petition you know, um, do it's, it's a petition uh, that uh, we are asking the the government to uh, address this retail crime emergency you know not to deny it this this need to be done urgently we need the actions now we, we don't uh, need the empathy for the victims, but we need the actions from the government so that we, can, we could live in a in, in safe environment, right. which is a basic fundamental right uh, of any citizen. And the state has to, to, uh, to ensure the safety of the citizens and the communities. Um, the Prime Minister yesterday attended, I think, the funeral of uh, Yannick Patel. Um, have you found her sympathetic, but inactive or you i mean to protest outside her electorate office today sunny would suggest that you weren't entirely convinced of whatever response she has made in the last 72 hours see uh, sympathy and empathy empathy is, is one thing but what we are asking is the actions and we are missing those actions we are not getting those solutions uh, we, we we have been telling this time and again that um, instead of 
uh, you know, we, we need outcomes, not words or processes or hugs for criminals. Just government agencies undertaking their duties in protecting the innocent from criminals. Mm. Criminals should not be allowed to prey on business, uh, small businesses. And fixing this requires a focus on outcomes, which means taking offenders off the streets. Okay. Uh, I take it that after you've got those offenders off the street, though, you're also yeah. concerned that they're not being appropriately dealt with the New Zealand judicial system because I was making the point this morning on the show, it's one thing to arrest somebody. It's another to take them off the streets because in many cases they'll be bailed home again into the same community that they may well have burgled, yeah? Yeah, not necessarily. And also, I mean, if they see offenders uh, as if they are too young, so, you know, we need to make sure how do we bring them to their, the, the constructive side of the life. And we need to hold those uh, parents or families accountable who are not able to look after or, or, or ignoring their kids. You know, these age, the kids should be, uh, they should be in schools. They should be learning, you know, and, and getting those skills uh, for their um, life, uh, uh, earning, uh, uh, you know, I mean, those things. But they should not be in, in the middle of the night ram raiding businesses or, or on the streets. Uh, so those families also need to be put under the microscope by the MSD. Um, I'm, also being asked, I'm also being asked, uh, what's the name of the Give a Little page, Sonny? Uh, that's uh, um, the... Uh, oh, well, I think I need to Google that one. Uh, the give a little bit i can text you that one sorry sure. would, would uh, you would yeah. you take shame please yeah and we'll put, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, put that up for your um for our for our um people today i'm sure a lot of people want to donate towards that finally sunny on uh friday i was interviewing um as a normal my normal friday the tyree mp who's been sitting um a labor mp and i raised with her some of the things that you'd been saying and she dismissed this as saying, oh, well, you're just a disgruntled ex-Labour candidate. Um, you, how do you respond to that? Look, uh, this is a national issue. This is a New Zealand issue. It's nothing to do with Labour or government. You know, what I'm asking is from the, the government of the day. Uh, during the national, when there was a national government, at that time also we have hold the account uh, the the government accountable at that time also there was a crime at that time as well and we had went to the parliament i had taken the uh, the whole delegation to the parliament and put the similar manifesto uh, to the then government and they had agreed to a few things uh, for example the 1.8 million dollars uh, to start the uh, to to fund those four cannons and also they had set up during that time on our demand a special police task force uh, with 21 uh, officers across three districts in Auckland. So there were a few more things. So what I'm saying is, it, this is nothing to do with politics. It's only the people who want excuses, uh, and, but not to work. They are telling you this one. But actually, uh, you know, we are business owners. We are business. Uh, we, we are the workers, and we are responsible citizens. And if there is a problem, we have to go to the government of the day. And we have to ask those questions, we have to hold them accountable, and we need to face uh, uh, the reality. Okay. And tell me, Sonny, I've always wanted to ask this question, so sorry, mate, I'm going to ask it. Why sure. are there so many Indian dairy owners? How, how has it become such a cultural lexicon in New Zealand? Because this is a community which is a very hardworking community. They do not like to be on uh, benefits or dole, but these people are uh, self, uh, you know, they, they hold a lot of esteem working. Uh, doesn't matter if the small families, mom and dads or whosoever, you know, and dairy owners, as you were seeing the workers, they are working on an average 10 to 11 hours a day. That's what the culture is, you know, uh, earn and, and, you know, feel um, that, you know, that you are self-respect person. Yeah. So, and most of the people that are committing these crimes are not Indians, obviously. Is there an element, no. is there an element of race, do you think, there? Um, because is there a resentment, if you like, against um, dairy owners? Because within the local community, they seem to be having a job and getting on and the people who are ram-raiding you and assaulting you aren't. Uh, 
Do you think there's, I there, think I, there's a resentment there? I, I would probably leave that question to the learner uh, persons like yourself <laughs> uh, to assess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, it's obvious you were a politician once, Sonny. Well done. Good on you, mate. Uh, very best Thanks. of luck to you for your protest uh, today. Um, can I just say, if you could text Shane um, the Give a Little page number or uh, title, then we'll make sure that we um, put it up today. And, uh, yeah, um, I can't see any solution happening, but I do know that the outrage that you are experiencing there at the moment is shared uh, by most of the community. So good on you. Well done. Thank you for your support. Okay, thank you. All right, so that's um, Sonny Kaushal, who's chairman of the Dairy Owners Association. We will put up um, for Sonny uh, and for the dairy owners, obviously, the um, give a little page number for you as well. All right.